good morning good evening uh, let's discuss today about a uh, hybrid solar indexing so we will discuss today to see how the solar indexing works and uh, we can add some new attribute to the solar indexing and see how it works after adding new attribute to the solar indexing so let me go ahead and show first to see how the indexing is used in any e-commerce site so if we take any e-commerce site there is always a search functionality without search functionality there is no e-commerce if you take any thing any e-commerce site like uh, amazon.com or uh, flipkart.com so there is always a search functionality so if we search here for example iphone so it's grab it's bringing all the products related to the iphone so if you type like iphone 7 it's bringing iphone 7 specific products so this search mechanism behind the scenes it's used uh, solar or there are different search mechanisms available in the market so each company may be using different uh, searching mechanism so there are some search mechanisms but hybrids will use solar searching indexing for a searching mechanism so this is the default out of the box storefront that's hybrids provided and if you see there is a search functionality here and if you search for example uh, training see so there are bunch of like products coming here there are bunch of products coming here hybrids will use solar indexing part of the hybrid framework and there are uh, other frameworks available in the market uh, solar search mechanism is the one elastic search is another mechanism for searching apache lucene is another frame search engine open search server is another search engine so there are many search uh, engines available in the market so it's not just uh, solar but hybris is using solar and we are going to discuss to see how the solar works behind the scenes and how we can add a new attribute to the solar indexing so for example if you see it here if i type train tra so it grab many products if I type next letter, next letter, it's grabbing four products. If I type one more, it's getting different products. See how fast it is even coming the products. How fast the products are coming. See if I type one more, one more, see how fast it's coming. So there are, if you see training, there are no products available that's matching with the training in the solar search server. That's why it's not displaying any products here. So we will see how we can add one new attribute and we'll see how the solar searching works. So basically this is how the searching mechanism behind the scenes Hybris is using. Hybris uses solar search behind the scenes when you are searching for products. The reason for solar search is it's very fast compared to getting the data from relational database. So that's what the idea behind the solar search so let's discuss a little bit more about the solar uh, then we can see one uh, example also on solar so solar stands searching on lucene with replication and its main functionalities are indexing and searching those are the two main functionalities of solar server or solar indexing mechanism and solar is an open source rest based enterprise search and analytical engine server from apache foundation so it's basically the solar search engine is from apache software and its core functionality is built on another search engine which is apache lucene so this based on this some other functionalities are added to the solar so the base functionality is used is apache lucene in solar also and it's purely written in java language the solar is written purely in java language so if you take 
this uh, store front this entire store front behind all these uh, values products like if you go any products behind the scenes where it's storing it's going to store in the relational database this all the data whatever you see here is all data is stored in the relational database whereas this search data is stored in the solar server that's what we are trying to say here hybris commerce works with the relational database as persistency layer which means the entire storefront will use the relational database for a uh, storing any information whereas for searching and navigation solar is used solar is used because the search is very fast we need to provide to the users the very fast when they search for a specific word or text okay and this solar requires a regular export of product data from hybris commerce to solar and this process is known as solar indexing so basically whenever you add a new product to the relational database you need to get that product to the solar server also and that need to be indexed otherwise it's not going to show up that product when you search it so in order to get the data on regularly from relational database there is a cron jobs always used you can schedule the cron job whatever the time frame you want it so when the cron job runs it go and gets the data from relational database and it will store on the solar server which is indexed so this process of basically getting the regular export of data product data from hybris commerce to solar is nothing but solar indexing apache solar uses the lucene inverted index technique behind the scenes because it's very fast how it is very fast because it uses some inverted index technique what does that mean so if you take for example any book so there is always a index for any book right at the beginning or at the end of the book so what that index will tell you is it says a for example array list or collections or any a topic you are looking which will tell that topics in two one word or two words and then it will tell you the page number so you can go directly to that page and look whatever you are uh, looking it so similar concept here also the solar will use the indexing mechanism that's why solar provides very fast searching feature that's why when you search something it's very fast it's very fast see how fast it is coming so it uses the indexing technique behind the scenes like searching a page by based on the indexing number using the page so that's what the searching mechanism is the next point is solar can be used in two flavors and one is standalone and another one is cloud based and distributed so solar is available in two flavors so you can use either standalone means you can install the server standalone or you can use already the cloud based distributed solar server part of your project so it depends what you want to do part of your project let's see the high level solar architecture so if you see it here this is a solar instance basically it's a solar instance which is running on jvm and one solar instance can have many cores like core 1 core 2 core 3 a core is nothing but the index of text and fields basically the core contains the text and the fields and each core can contain many documents each core can contain many documents and a document is nothing but fields of group of fields and their values a document contains group of fields if you see here a document contain again many fields a field is nothing but key value pairs key value pairs basically it's a data so why we need many cores if we want to let's say for example store the product data in core 1 you can store it if you want to store some secure data in another core you can create a core and you can store it 
if you want to store some media files you can store in another core like that you can create any number of cores depending on your project requirement or you can use only one core and you can set up the solar server mechanism searching mechanism so this is basically high level solar architecture is let's quickly look at it the solar uh, server so i am already running the i am already running the hybrid server so solar by default runs on 8983 port so you can simply type localhost 8983 this is my localhost and if you see here core admin see there are couple of cores one for apparel one for apparel uh, de uk and one for electronics one for power tools so if you want to create a new core simply you can create add new core and then you can configure it the new core whatever the data that you are you want to store in the new core so it has some java properties about that uh, solar server what it's using where it's storing all that stuff and then thread dumps about that solar if we have any issues and some kind of logging mechanism and you can see some kind of dashboard also so what is about the what version of solar it's using and uh, what are the runtime environment variables physical memory swap all that kind of thing but the main thing is you can configure the new core if you want using this admin tabs or using this ui interface or you can even configure through command prompt so you can in order to configure command prompt you need to run some commands you can do that one or you can do through this ui okay so i'm not going in detail about this ones but let's i want to just give a quick idea about the solar so let's go back to nodes again so if you see it like this is basically telling about the solar is stored in the documents instead of tables so in case of relational database everything is stored in the tables whereas in solar everything is stored in the documents and uh, apache solar a document if you take it it's a group of fields and their values and documents are basic unit of data that's what i said like basically the document contains key value pairs basically that's what basically we are talking here okay so let's see now how the solar is used in hybris how the solar is used in hybris so if you look at the storefront if i go here this is a storefront when i try something when i try something so this is a storefront the user basically interacts with the storefront and when you search when you search here something it is getting the data right that data is getting from solar server here is the solar server this data is indexed that's why you are getting very fast the data when you are searching it if you go any other place in the storefront it gets from the relational database which is a hybrid database it can be oracle ms sql server or any other database this one is non indexed so this data is stored in the tables whereas this data is stored in the <coughs> documents but the question here is let's say some data is added to the relational database for example new product is added to the relational database so what the solar is do will do is there is a cron job is you need to set it up there are cron jobs available so the cron jobs will get the data from hybrid database on regular basis and it stores in the database and it will index that new data so that it's available when you search through storefront so it keep on gets the data from hybris to the solar so there is a cron job always run runs behind the scenes which will get the data from hybris and stores in solar server and it's indexed the whatever the data that you got whatever got from the hybris database and it's ready for available once it's indexed to the store front so access data from hybris db will take more time than accessing from solar because index data is used in solar hence solar is 
preferred than hybrid database because the index data is always fast compared to the non-indexed data. This is how behind the scenes how the solar is used in hybrids. Okay. Now there are different um, configuration files for the solar like um, if you see how to configure solar in hybrids basically there are mainly three files available and you can configure the solar using the impexes and the solar I said like it runs on default port number 8983 and the three important files are one is solar.impex one is solar.impex so you can go ahead and sts and open the solar.impex not the trigger sorry so the solar.impex what it contains is it contains the it contains the information about the solar server and bunch of other configurations so if you see here so it is using the what's the url for the solar endpoint so where the server is configured where the server is solar server is installed that's what this one is basically and it's also saying like what kind of uh, mode the solar is using whether you want to use the standalone mode or whether it's a cloud based mode so in this case it's configured as standalone mode and also there are some configurations like um, batch size number of threads index mode like batch size is at a time how many you want to index it and number of threads is how many threads you want to run parallelly so if there are millions of records the indexing may take a little bit more time so you can run you can decide how many threads you want to configure part of your configuration file so by configuring number of threads you can run parallel threads for the indexing mechanism and then the indexing mode there are different types of indexing strategies one of them is uh, two phase indexing strategy so we'll talk in uh, a minute but there is an indexing mechanism also you need to specify what type of index you want to use it like that there are many uh, parameters in this uh, solar impex file you need to configure all the solar properties according to your project requirement that's what i'm specifying here and the next second file is solar underscore en impex basically this is a uh, used for the localization so if you want to localize any solar attributes you can localize the solar attributes and the third file is solar trigger dot impex this file is used to schedule cron jobs for solar indexing you can change the default cron job timings but this is basically used to schedule the cron jobs so that it will keep on gets the data from database and it's do the indexing so if you see it solar trigger dot impex so it has basically by default out of the box there are two indexing mechanisms available one is full indexing another one is update indexing so these two indexes are available out of the box so you can schedule the time frame based on your project requirement so that's what basically those are the three important files for the solar server configuration and there is some solar server configuration property file also you can specify the in the property file instead of specifying on the impex you can specify in the property file what is the mode you want to use it what are the endpoints and you want to use the log information what level and there are a bunch of parameters if you want to use it you can use it and you can configure according to your requirement and like i said there are different um, indexing strategies right that three types of indexing indexing strategies are full indexing update and delete if you take the full indexing so what the full indexing will do is it deletes all the records and then recreates from scratch the indexing so it has two types again in the full indexing one is direct mode another one is two phase mode in the direct mode it will directly update every document in the index whereas in two phase mode it create a copy of the existing core and then it creates the indexing on that copy once the copy on the once the index is created on the copy it will swap that copy with the original one 
So basically indexing is done on a copy which is a temporary copy. Once the temporary copy is successfully indexed then the temporary copy will be replaced with the temporary copy will be stored in the original one which means basically whenever there is a two phase that's why you call two phase. So there is a copy it will take it indexing is performed on the copy if it is successfully perform the indexing then it will copy that swapped the temporary core to the original core that's what basically two phase mode indexing and then the updating indexing is basically you want to update a specific documents within a specific time frame then you can use the update indexing this operation can be done frequently if needed as it consumes less time compared to full indexing because full indexing recreates from the scratch so it will delete all the existing ones and recreates it whereas update only updates the modified update only creates the index for the modified documents or modified data you can say that's why the update will be used on regular basis and the delete indexing basically to completely remove the indexed document that are not used anymore so if you don't want to uh, keep that data so you can simply use the delete indexing this delete indexing periodically checks the data that is not used anymore and can delete the data that's what you see here unwanted index data is deleted from solar that's what basically the different types of indexing strategies now the next question is what can be indexed in hybris <clears throat> any item type can be indexed using hmc back office <clears throat> or through impex so any item can be indexed and the indexing for product item type is already done by hybris out of the box so all the products by default are indexed so that's out of the functionality so if you want to add a new attribute to the product and you want to use that new attribute to be indexed then you need to follow some steps because it's not you are adding a new attribute it won't automatically add that new attribute to the product indexing. So we will see how we can add a new attribute. Hybris provides cron jobs for performing full index update and delete. So there are different existing cron jobs available. So you can simply go to HMC and you can see it. Let's go ahead and quickly see the different cron jobs available. You can go to HMC. You can go to HMC and then system cron jobs system then go to cron jobs and search for a full cron job here so if you search full see there is a cron job full cron job for a de store uk store electronic store and power tool store so if you click on anything here you can see it is scheduled the time frame here like a time schedule see it's scheduled every day to run at 305 so the task is this full indexing is scheduled to run every day at 305 pm or 305 am so you can change the schedule if you want based on your project needs but there are cron jobs are already available out of the box so you don't need to write from the scratch so just you need to configure based on your project requirements so that's what basically we are talking here. Just I specified a screenshot to see how you can see the out of the box cron jobs. Out of the box cron jobs. Now that's what about high level uh, uh, this description about the solar. Now let's take a scenario to see how we can add. Let's take a scenario how we can add a new attribute to the solar indexing how we can add a new attribute to the solar indexing. I want to create a new attribute called Channa training and I want to add this Channa training to the solar indexing and at the same time I want to display the indexed Channa training data in the product detail page. 
in the product detail page so if you see it before indexing before indexing this is what it i have it so if you go here and if you search for training you are not getting any products because there is nothing matching with the product there is nothing matching with this text there is no product that has training that's why you are not getting any products so if you just type first four characters see there are some products available that's are matching with this text whereas if you see training there is no data available so let's see this is before adding our uh, new attribute to the indexing so this is how the output will be we want to see it so training when i type it so it's coming this attribute and at the same time i want to display the value of that indexed in the product detail page so you can see here so this is my requirement to see how i can add my new attribute chenna training to the indexing so in this case chenna training is the new attribute and that has the value as that has the product training classes so when i type training classes i want to get that index data and at the same time i want to display on the product detail page so this is the output i want to see it so in order to see this output let's see what are the steps involved and what we need to do step by step the first step is so for this one uh, i have a already some pre requirement the pre requirement is i built i built a custom module called chenna training using ant module gen so you can simply generate ant module gen and then you can create a custom module that's what i created it here i am not creating it again but that's a pre requirement for this exercise whatever i am going to show uh, here so i created already the custom module based on the default module the default store front i created a custom module so my custom module is called chenna training and if you see it when i generate using ant module it created bunch of extensions so my store front now is chenna training store front and it has bunch of extensions so these are all the extensions created when i generated custom module using ant module gen so you need to do this one as a pre requirement in order to access in order to complete my exercise okay let's discuss one step at a time and then uh, we'll see more details how each step is executed and then uh, discuss more details so the first step is so i have a chenna training already created it custom module so i need to go to the chenna training items.xml because i need to add a new attribute right i need to add a new attribute i need to add a new attribute to the product model so in order to add a new attribute to the product model you can simply copy paste this one you can simply copy paste this and paste in the chenna training apparel product so apparel product is extends to the default which is a product i simply copied and pasted here so you can see here i created a new attribute called chenna training and it is a property which is means it's storing in the database so basically i am adding here chenna training attribute to the product table chenna training column to the products table so we call attributes not the columns so basically we are adding this attribute to the products table that's what the step 1 is once you add once you are done adding this new attribute to the product model you need to run the ant clean all and perform update so you can say simply ant clean all you need to run ant clean all and then once ant clean all is done you need to go to hsc platform and perform the update perform the update so the ant clean all will take 2 3 minutes 
uh, let it complete it but it, what it this step will do is basically we added it so it adds that new attribute to the apparel product model class and also it will add that new attribute in the database to the products table that's what this step will step 2 will do it so let it complete that one and let's move to the next step in the meanwhile so the third step is so we are in the first and second step we added the new attribute to the database and also to the product model now we need to add this new attribute channa training to the solar to the indexing for solar so you can open the solar.impex file you can open the solar.impex file which is let's add to the apparel uk so let's add a new attribute in the apparel uk store front so what i did here is you can simply copy and paste this impex you can simply copy and paste this impex in this file so i already copied and pasted it i already copied and pasted it so i named i am i am adding here channa training to the solar indexing so i am adding my new attribute to the i am adding my new attribute to the solar indexing so basically you can copy this syntax that's there at the top here that's there at, here is the syntax you can simply copy that line and then you can define what is the new attribute that you want to add to the solar indexing so simply i am adding channa training to the solar indexing and i have some properties here like true true which is basically use the auto spell check and uh, auto complete so if you have some spelling checks so it will recognize automatically and i want i'm not writing any uh, providers because i want to use i want to send the data as is to the solar server for indexing as is to the solar server for indexing that's a step 3 now after adding the new attribute to the solar indexing now we need to add some data part of this for this attribute right so in order to add some data now go to the products.impex which is again available in apparel store sample data and take one of the existing attribute so this is one of the existing product and use that product and add our new attribute which is channa training and a value so that when you search for this value training classes it should get this product in the searching mechanism so basically i am trying to add now go to products.xml product.impex not xml go to product.impex and then add a new product so basically here i i took one of the existing product from the top and i i took one of the existing product and then i added my new attribute which is channa training to the product and channa training has now the value as training classes which means when i search in the search box training classes it should display it should get this product in the search as a product list so when i go and search in the when i go and search here training classes it should get that product here if you see here it's not getting anything right now because it's not getting anything i am simply starting the server because we need to perform the update so it's training classes when you search it it should display this product that's what we are adding here to the product index that's a step 4 and now the, once you done that step 4 once you done that step 4 you can do this step 5 you need to go to the run you need to run and clean all or and all and then you need to go to hsc platform and you need to perform update again so while performing update you need to make sure you are selecting the apparel store check box 
because if you don't check this one it's not going to import this data by checking this apparel store in HMC HAC platform product it will import this data or instead of doing that one you can simply run the above impexes by going to the HAC console impex so you can run manually those impexes or you can perform the update so you can do one of those two steps you can do one of those two steps now part of step two we said we perform the update right so you can go to platform and update and click on update so this will perform the update which means it creates the new attribute channel training in the product database products table so that's what step two so we are done now we are at step five so we are saying run and clean all and then our and all go to HAC platform and perform this one so what it's saying here is go to update and then at the bottom you see there is something called apparel store so this is you need to check it you need to check this and then click on update or you can run this impexes manually so I'm going to run the impexes manually because the update will take uh, five six minutes so I don't want to waste the time let's run this impexes quickly let's run these two impexes so this is the one impex so basically you can go to the solar.impex copy this one copy this one instead of performing the update we are running the impexes directly so go to go to console hsc console and then impex and then paste it here and if you see here it's using some macros so simply the, copy the macros that are there at the top simply cop, copy all these macros there are some extra macros that's okay even if you copy because you, do, you need to, otherwise you need to figure out exactly which macros are used part of this impact and you can simply say import so this is basically imported successfully and do the same thing for the same thing for the next impacts also which is products so import the products so I'm simply copying again this impact that we created it and then go to HAC impacts paste it there and it's using some macros again simply go at the top copy the macros all the macros so you don't need to worry if there are extra macros copy all of them and then say import and then say import see I am done this just within one minute instead of waiting seven to eight minutes so if you perform this update so it takes some time instead of doing that I simply manually executed the impexes now we need to go and see whether the new attribute is showing up in the products let's go to the HMC let's go to the HMC we just added the product right that's a channel training now let's see whether that's available so you can go to catalogs products and this is the product that we added it if you notice it here if you notice it here the product is this is the new product that we added to the products impact so search for that product and see it's available so you can double click on it you can double click on it so this is a staged version and if you go to the administration tab you can see channa training which has the value training classes so channa training training classes so if we go this is the staged version so if we go to the online version and again search it this is the online version and see whether uh, our data is there so it is there so if the data is not here if the data is not here if the data is not here you need to synchronize it so how you can synchronize it basically you can go back basically you can go back here basically you can go back here double click it 
and then start synchronization or you can go to the catalogs and the product apparel product catalog taste and you can synchronize the entire product catalog so either you can do the specific product or you can do the entire product uh, synchronization catalog synchronization synchronization that's what basically we are trying to say here that's what basically we are trying to say here so you can verify even the you can verify whether it's added to the indexing or not our new attribute if you go to, in order to verify it you need to go to system facet search and then index types so we added for uk right apparel uk and if you scroll down to see our new attributes added to the solar indexing so we added a new attribute to the solar indexing now it's available part of existing other attributes for solar indexing that's what basically this step is showing up so just you can verify to see whether that attribute is added to the solar indexing and this step is optional you can even if you want to verify you can go and verify the products table to see whether it has the new attribute you can see here channa training and it has the value as training glasses because one is for online one for staged that's what it is so once you verify that so we just uh, discuss the synchronization so you need to do the synchronization once you done the synchronization the next step is you need to add this new attribute channa training attribute to the to the search make a search uh, xml in the search dot solar facet search dot xml you need to add your new attribute so you can go to commerce service commerce service spring solar facet search dot xml solar facet search dot x spring commerce let's see this file is uh, commerce spring commerce spring solar facet search dot xml so in this one in this one if you observe here there are bunch of attributes available part of the search mechanism so like if you see here en code name manufacturer name keywords category so these are all the attributes so when you search in your store when you search here so it is going to search this text in all these attributes in all these columns in the database to see whether any of this column has this text so we need to add our new attribute simply you can copy this one just copy this bean and add to the existing list so i just copied and pasted it here already so you can see here now we added our new attribute channa training to the list of existing attributes so when someone search for a text now it will search the text in this column also if this column has the text then it will return the corresponding product that's what basically this step is that's what basically this step is so that's what you see here this is a screenshot you need to add to the list of existing attributes once you done that one so now we need to display we need to display that indexed channa training attribute in the product detail page right that's another requirement so you need to go to the channa training beans.xml you need to go to the channa training channa training facets beans.xml and then add your new attribute to the product data and then add your new attribute to the product data that's what basically you can copy and paste the bean so which is available part of the product data this is the attribute at the same time you need to populate now the product data with this new attribute right so you need to go to the apparel product populator apparel product populator and then you need to set the product model data into the product data so that we can use on the client side in the product detail page so simply you can type you can say target dot set channa training you can get the data from model and set it in the target so that i can use it in the client 
So this is basically the indexed data that we want to display in the product detail page. In order to do that, we need to add in the facades to the product the attribute, new attribute, and you need to modify the apparel product populator. Means you need to add your new attribute. That's what basically this step is talking about. So you can see clearly it's simply setting the getting it and setting the variable. And the final step is you need to go to the product detail. So we said we want to display in the product detail page, right? The index data. So you need to go to the responsive because it's a responsive website, right? So you can copy this this line of code and paste it in the wherever you want it. So I simply copied already. So you can see here product dot code and then I said product dot channa training because we added channa training to the product and whatever is the indexed value it should display it here that's what this meaning is so we are displaying the product the index data in the product detail page that's what basically step 9 and step 10 is this is the very important so once you've done all those steps this is the last step you need to perform the you need to perform the indexing so you need to perform the indexing because we added the data to the database table and we got the data into the hype solar now we need to perform the indexing because indexing is a part of the cron job so we don't know we don't want to wait so you can simply go ahead and run manually the indexing so you can go to system facet search indexer operation wizard indexer operation wizard and then you can see here there is a full update and delete modes and then select apparel uk and simply perform the indexing so what this will do is whatever the new attribute that new product we added it which is a uh, one of the existing product we took it but we named it as training glasses we named it as training glasses if you notice it here training glasses so this will be now indexed this will be now indexed that's what this step is doing so it's going to create an index for this new attribute which is channa training and whenever you type this one it's going to get this product because it is indexing right now let it finish the index so it will take just uh, two minutes so that's the last step and once you've done that step the indexing you need to perform the and clean all and then start the server you need to perform the and clean all and start the server so right now it's performing the indexing so now you can see indexing finished successfully so indexing is done so i already um, ran the server perform the and clean all i am not going to do it again and clean all but you need to do and clean all and then start the server now i started the server already now let's go to our channa training store front see whether it will display its apparel uk right so you need to press apparel uk and see whether when i type training i'm going to get the product or not because we added channa training to the indexing channa training to the indexing so if you now if you notice it here if you notice it here this is the home page right so if you type here see there are bunch of products coming training see this is the product we just uh, tied up with the training so now you see channa training channa training column has channa training column has attribute value as training glasses now this is previously if you notice it at the beginning when i'm trying training it's not getting any data if we see it here if we see in the requirement see when i type it there is nothing showing up here now you observe here see the product is now getting from solar because we indexed we created a new attribute called channa training the channa training has the value training glasses 
that value has training glasses see this got the product and when you click on this product when you click on that product you will see how it displays in the product detail page you see how it displays see this is the training glasses the indexed data that we are displaying in the product detail page the indexed data so the indexed data is indexed data is channa training if you notice it here the indexed data is channa training glasses and the attribute we add is channa training so this is indexed so when you search for this one it is getting this product in the so part of the search mechanism part of the search that's what basically you need to do in order to add a new attribute so you can observe even the logs here the logs search logs see before adding our attribute there is no channa training here after adding our attribute to the solar indexing see channa training is now part of the search mechanism this is coming because of this commerce solar facet because we added our channa training also part of the search mechanism see here the name uh, manufacturer name keywords category name all these are the ones we added this our new attribute also now it's available part of the solar searching now whenever you type the word so it's going to search in this new attribute also to see whether the new attribute has that value or not if it has it it will get the data part of the search list and this is the step basically finally we are seeing it that's what i shown just here so this is how you can add a new attribute to the existing solar mechanism and how you can display that index data even in the page if you want it so i just want to quickly recap the steps just for 2 minutes so we need to add a, in order to add a new attribute so you need to create a new items new attribute in items.xml whatever your items.xml file then and clean all perform the update then add to the solar impacts file and then add the product data and then you can verify to see whether that's available and once your verification is done you can perform the synchronization for the product catalog because it's in stage so we want to make sure it's going to the online and then you need to add to the commerce services spring facet search.xml so that it's available uh, part of the search mechanism your new attribute and then if you want to display that new attribute in the any page so in our case we are displaying in the product detail for that i need to modify the populator so that it will get the index data and then the jsp that you want to display and then finally do the indexing so this indexing basically index that new product and it will get that new product when you are searching so if you search here see it's coming so this is coming because of that indexing mechanism so that's what basically you need to do it in order to add a new attribute that's what you need to do basically in order to do in order to add a new attribute to the solar indexing this is the, uh, for this session and i will try to get more on other topics like how to create new core instances and thank you for your time and uh, thanks a lot have a great day bye